Hi, beautiful people. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my September 2021 empties. Surprisingly, this month, I have nothing to declutter. So here is my box full of empties that I'm going to send to a recycling program. If you want to know how I properly recycle these products, I will always have that video where I talked about it linked in the description box down below. I will have everything linked in the description box for your convenience. If you use any of those links, I might get a little bit of commission and thank you so much for your support, seriously. First, let's talk about this hand cream. This is the Eucerin Urea Repair Plus 5% Urea Hand Cream. This also has ceramide and NMF which I'm not really sure what that is, but I will be sure to put that on the screen. This is a hand cream I actually picked up in Germany about two years ago. They were having a promotion, so I bought three of these. I gave one to my mom, the other one to my husband, and this is mine. When I first tried it, I thought that it was really nice because it is lightweight, but it leaves a little bit of a film on your hands. However, I can tell when it's not moisturizing enough when my cuticles look awful. And that actually happened with both my husband and me when we used this hand cream. I don't know what happened, but I started to use this up during the pandemic, so this year, and it doesn't leave my cuticles looking as mangly as it used to. Not sure with climate change or maybe because I started using this in, well, closer to the summer, so maybe in the spring, and my skin isn't as dry. So I grew to really like this hand cream. It does leave a bit of a film on your hands, so if you don't like that, you probably will not like using this, but I haven't found a lot of fragrance-free products in Germany. So you guys know from any of my German skincare videos or German haul videos that I go to the Apotheca a lot for my skincare products. At DM, Rossmann, and any other drugstore, they don't really have a variety of, well, skincare products in general, but fragrance-free products. So the Apotheca, that's where you're going to find me a lot. And I used to use Eucerin a lot as a kid. So when I found out that they have Eucerin, I was elated. Urea is a great ingredient to have in your hand creams, especially with excess hand washing that we're doing these days. I tend to wash my hands a lot and I am a culprit of not using dishwashing gloves most of the time. Also because I started to cook a lot. Ceramides are also a great ingredient because it helps to protect and restore your skin barrier. This is just one of the best hand creams you can get, especially if you are in Germany. And I know that things at the Apotheca are more expensive than the things at the drugstore, but if you have sensitive skin like I do or eczema prone skin, I have eczema on my hands, especially during the winter, then I would definitely recommend that you check this out. In my last German drugstore haul, I showed a couple of fragrance free products that I picked up at Rossmann. I will link that video in the description box down below. I replaced that hand cream with the O'Keeffe's Working Hands. This is for extremely dry, cracked hands. It's unscented, non-greasy, and hypoallergenic. I remember mentioning the O'Keeffe's Working Hands in the tub, and my dad is a handyman, and he used to use that a lot in the past and he really enjoyed it. So I decided to try it, especially when I found out that this is unscented and it actually works really well. This one does not leave a film on the skin like the Eucerin hand cream does. So if you're here in the States and you would like to try a new hand cream, something that is actually non-greasy and it's unscented, I would recommend picking this up. Here is the texture of this hand cream. It is a little bit thick, so you would think that maybe it wouldn't sink in that fast or it would be really greasy and it definitely is not. I'm telling you right now, I've tried a lot of hand creams in the past that were either too greasy or too drying. Like they would just absorb into the skin and feel like nothing even happened. So right now, yeah, I don't feel that like greasy buttery feel and I can touch things like my keyboard or my devices and not leave oily marks all over the place. I mean, I'm one that loves being greasy, but because I'm constantly washing my hands, 
I kind of don't want to be greasy anymore. If I move to Germany or if I find myself in Germany again and I need hand cream, I would definitely repurchase this. Only if I can't find a cheaper but just as good alternative at the drugstore. And the next empty is the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. I actually peeled off the label because I have shown this in so many of my videos for I think the past three years. I've been using a micellar cleansing water in the AM every single day for three years instead of a normal cleanser. If you want to know what my current skincare routine is, I will link that video in the description box down below. I wouldn't say it's my current one. It has changed just because I did my different update a couple months ago and I did get prescribed an acne treatment from my dermatologist. But generally everything else is the same except for that like one product that I've been using. And I have of course repurchased this. The next empty is the Thayer's Natural Remedies Facial Toner Witch Hazel Owl Vera Formula. This has been going around the internet since the dawn of ages. This has found itself in a lot of skincare controversies because witch hazel can be very irritating to the skin. My husband actually finds witch hazel to be a great aftershave. I tried to use it during the time that I broke out in fungal acne last year and my skin did not like that. I don't know what I was thinking about reintroducing it into my skincare routine because for many years before that I wasn't using it anymore. I actually use this and still I do I still do use this for my yoga mat spray. So after every single time I work out I will use my cleaning spray on my yoga mat and wipe it clean with a microfiber cloth. Once a month, I will do a deep clean and then hang the yoga mats outside to dry. Years ago, I wanted to find out how to clean my yoga mats in between the deep cleaning sessions. And I found a video by Yoga by Adrian who uses witch hazel in her yoga mat cleaning spray. I had so many of these bottles lined up on my skincare shelf over here. So I figured I'm not using this on my skin anymore. Let me just use it in my sprays and I have been using this in my sprays. However, I'm not going to repurchase this anymore because it's kind of a waste. You could just put water and dish soap together in a spray bottle, spray your yoga mats with that, and then wipe it clean with a microfiber cloth. The next empty is the Shiseido Benefiance wrinkle soothing cream. It actually is a cream that my mom used. I wanted to put this in my empties because I need to tell you guys how much I really do miss using Shiseido. Shiseido has one of the best lines of skincare products I have ever used in my entire life. Almost everything that I used from that brand, my skin just soaked it up and I just looked so useful, which is so funny because I'm still young. And when I started using Shiseido, I was in my early 20s. So I don't want to say it's like super anti-aging or anything, but it just makes your skin look so plump and leaves it glowing. And I love the fragrance in Shiseido products. It's so luxurious. It has a very like pleasant floral scent, but not overpowering like you're standing in a flower field. This is just a tried and true company by Asians. I remember my mom saying that she did enjoy this product. It is on the heavier side because it is their Benefiance Wrinkle Soothing, Smoothing line, but it's not as heavy as their Enhanced Enriched version. That's the one I was talking about because they have this one, which is a regular one, and they have Enriched for, you know, super dry skin. It says you can apply this morning and night after your cleanser. And I feel like this would be nice if you had dry skin, but during the summer, your skin can be oily. So this one would be better than the enriched version, which would be great to use in the winter. She actually replaced this cream with, I think their new line. I forgot what it's called. Let me be a better YouTuber and Google that for you guys. Five minutes later. She bought the Shiseido Vital Perfection Uplifting and Firming Day Cream Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen. That one is for the day. That's actually the one that I had just ordered for her the other day. So the one that she bought for the nighttime is called the Vital Perfection Uplifting and Firming Cream Enriched. Macy's is having a 15% off beauty sale right now, which is why my mom hopped on that to get the sunscreen one. This one, the 
one that I just mentioned does not have sunscreen in it. So you obviously want to use sunscreen in the daytime, especially when you go out. I actually love the Benefiance line when I use their eye cream. Very nice. It's thick, but not like it leaves a super heavy buttery film and leads to milia. I've never gotten milia with the Shiseido eye cream ever. This is the Pixie Skin Treats Clarity Tonic with salicylic acid and probiotics. It's a clarifying toner. I did feature this in my earlier different skincare update videos. I loved this product so much because not only does it have salicylic acid, but it does have AHAs in here as well. I'm looking at the back and it does say that it has lactic acid in it and glycolic acid. Glycolic acid is more near the top of the list and lactic on the bottom. So it has both BHA and AHA in here. The reason why I love this toner so much is because it was very gentle. Pixie has an issue with disclosing how much percentage of BHA or AHA they have in their products except for the glow tonic. So I don't know how strong or how gentle this one is, but I was looking for a salicylic acid toner to treat the sebaceous filaments in my nose. I've always had them since I was a teenager. Let me just tell you, those are normal to have and they probably will never go away until maybe you're old, but especially when you have oily skin, you're probably going to have them forever. And no matter what you do, unfortunately, they're just going to come back. This does not work for sebaceous filaments. However, I did use this on my face like all over during the day because I stopped using Differin during the day and at night. You're not supposed to use Differin twice a day. It did leave my face very smooth and it definitely brightened my complexion because of the AHAs in here. And I have always been a fan of glycolic acid. I was using glycolic acid for years before I found this toner or any salicylic product and my skin has always reacted positively to AHAs. Lactic acid is great for those of you who have more sensitive skin because it works more at moisturizing your skin than exfoliating it. Glycolic acid really sloughs off the dead skin cells on your face to reveal brighter, smoother, and an even clearer complexion. Salicylic acid is oil soluble, which means that if you have oilier skin, you are acne prone. This is going to be your best friend because it goes into your your pores and it cleans them out. I actually replaced this. Oh my god, I left it in the bathroom. I'm so sorry, you guys. I will leave, you know, images on the screen here. I replaced it with the Pharmacy Green Clean something something toner with papaya and moringa extract. I'm pretty sure that's what that says. I actually really enjoy using that one. That one is exponentially more expensive and you get less product than this one. This one is eight and a half fluid ounces, 250 mils. That one I'm pretty sure is half the size if not more than half the size. So this one is definitely more cost effective than the pharmacy one. But again, it depends on your preference, you know, because pharmacy is like clean beauty. This one is not, but both are cruelty free. You know how much percentage of BHA is in the pharmacy one. You don't know how much is in the pixie one. And also that one does not have AHAs in it, but the pixie one does. I don't know if I would repurchase this one again because that one works pretty much just as well, if not better. I used that on my face like all over once because I forgot to use my acne treatment in the morning. It just kind of skipped my mind and I put it all over my face and I couldn't take it back. And I really liked the way that my skin looked after I used it. So I'm not too sure because this one has AHAs and I love AHAs. But if you were in the market for an exfoliating toner, something gentle, they're both great. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy MT's videos and you enjoy my reviews. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. I would love to have you here and hopefully I'll see you in any of these related videos next.